This is Breaking Wire. Welcome. Please subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon for more updates. The Zumwalt class destroyer stands as one of the most ambitious undertakings in the history of naval engineering, representing a bold leap into the future of maritime warfare and expensive projects in naval history. With a price tag that soared far beyond initial estimates, the Zumwalt program quickly became a lightning rod for debates about military spending and technological risk. The U.S. Navy set out to build a revolutionary stealth warship, but after years of development and billions spent, ended up with just three ships for a staggering $22 billion, an outcome few could have predicted at the outset. What was meant to be a fleet of over 30 advanced destroyers became a cautionary tale of runaway costs, shifting priorities, and the unpredictable nature of cutting-edge defense projects. The Zumwalt's innovations, like its stealthy hull, integrated power system and advanced weaponry, were bold gambles that ultimately proved too costly and complex for large-scale production, despite their promise. Instead of transforming naval warfare as intended, the program became a symbol of procurement gone awry, raising tough questions about how the military balances ambition with practicality. Now, the Navy faces the ongoing challenge of justifying these ships' existence and finding a meaningful role for them in a rapidly changing world, where threats and technology evolve faster than ever. The Zumwalt class is both a warning about unchecked ambition and a testament to American engineering ingenuity, showing what's possible when boundaries are pushed, even if the results are imperfect. The question remains, can this expensive gamble finally pay off, or will it serve as a lesson for future generations about the true cost of innovation? The Zumwalt was envisioned as a stealthy multi-mission destroyer, able to slip close to enemy shores and unleash devastating firepower. Its radical tumble-home hull made it nearly invisible to radar, while its integrated power system generated unprecedented electricity for future weapons. Automation allowed for a much smaller crew, promising long-term savings. The ship's centerpiece, two massive advanced gun systems, designed to fire precision rounds over 80 miles inland. The Navy hoped these ships would support ground forces with relentless pinpoint bombardment. The Zumwalt was a technological leap, packing unproven systems into a single platform. For a moment, it seemed the U.S. was on the verge of fielding a warship unlike any other, a true ghost ship for a new era. But ambition would soon collide with reality. The Zumwalt program quickly unraveled under its own weight. Costs soared as new technologies proved difficult to master, shrinking the planned fleet from 32 ships to just three. The advanced gun system's unique ammunition became so expensive, nearly a million dollars per round, that the Navy canceled it, leaving the main guns useless. Technical issues plagued the ships, unreliable power systems, breakdowns at sea, and concerns about stability. Meanwhile, the strategic landscape shifted, making the Zumwalt's original land attack mission less relevant. The ship's core purpose evaporated before it even entered service. With its main weapons neutered and its technology unproven, the Zumwalt became a high-profile example of failed military innovation. The Navy was left with three costly ships and no clear mission. The program's collapse was a public lesson in the dangers of overreach. Rather than let the Zumwalt class fade into obscurity or become just another chapter in the long history of abandoned military projects, the Navy is giving these ships a new mission, hypersonic strike. This bold move is designed to breathe new life into the fleet and redefine what these futuristic vessels can do. The plan is to remove the now obsolete gun systems which never lived up to their promise and install vertical launch tubes for the common hypersonic glide body, a cutting-edge missile system that represents the forefront of military technology. The Zumwalt's massive size, advanced power systems, and stealthy design make it uniquely suited for this ambitious transformation, setting it apart from any other ship in the Navy's arsenal. By 2025, the first ship is expected to be armed with hypersonic missiles, capable of striking targets thousands of miles away at incredible speeds, changing the balance of naval power. This pivot turns the Zumwalt into a true deep-strike platform, leveraging its stealth, power and advanced sensors for a new era of high-tech warfare at sea. The Navy hopes this gamble will finally deliver a return on its massive investment, transforming a troubled program into a symbol of innovation and adaptability. If successful, the Zumwalt could become the fleet's most feared surface combatant, reshaping naval strategy for years to come. It's a bold attempt to turn a costly liability into a powerful strategic asset, and perhaps, a new legend in naval history.
Hypersonic weapons represent a revolutionary leap in military technology, traveling at speeds greater than five times the speed of sound, over 3,800 miles per hour. These cutting-edge missiles are not just fast, they are redefining the very nature of modern warfare. Their ability to maneuver unpredictably at such extreme velocities makes them nearly impossible to intercept with current air defense systems, leaving adversaries with little time to react or defend. Unlike traditional ballistic missiles, hypersonic glide bodies can alter their course mid-flight, weaving through the sky to evade interception and strike with devastating force and precision. The Zumwalt-class destroyer will soon be equipped with the common hypersonic glide body, a weapon launched by rocket before gliding at blistering speeds toward its target, making it a formidable asset in the Navy's arsenal. The sheer kinetic energy delivered by these weapons is enough to obliterate even hardened targets such as reinforced bunkers without the need for a large explosive warhead. Deploying these advanced weapons on a mobile stealthy ship gives the US Navy a powerful new tool, capable of threatening critical enemy assets from virtually anywhere at sea, while remaining undetected. This unprecedented capability complicates adversaries' defenses, forcing them to rethink their strategies and providing the US with a significant deterrent against potential threats. By making Zumwalt the first ship to field hypersonic missiles, the Navy aims to leap ahead in the global arms race, setting a new standard for naval power and technological innovation. The hope is to transform past technological setbacks into a decisive advantage, turning lessons learned into unmatched capability on the world stage. But the risks are real, and the stakes have never been higher as the world enters this new frontier of warfare. Critics question whether converting the Zumwalt into a hypersonic platform is truly wise, or just an expensive way to justify past mistakes. The ship's stealth remains unproven in real combat, and large surface vessels are still vulnerable to detection and attack. Many argue submarines would be a better, more survivable platform for hypersonic missiles. The hypersonic weapon itself is still experimental, and integrating it into the Zumwalt could bring new technical headaches. There's a risk of repeating the program's troubled history, pouring more money into a flawed platform. With only three ships, dedicating them to a single mission may limit their value. Some see this as finding a problem for an expensive solution, rather than the other way around. The Navy's gamble could pay off, or become another costly misstep. The Zumwalt's troubled story is part of a larger pattern in US Navy shipbuilding, overambition, technical overreach, and spiraling costs. Other programs like the Constellation-class frigate and littoral combat ship, have faced similar delays and failures. Even critical aircraft like the E-2D Hawkeye have suffered from costly deficiencies and missed deadlines. This cycle erodes readiness and wastes resources, threatening national security. The Navy must shift to realistic evolutionary designs, prioritizing proven technology and disciplined requirements. Revolutionary leaps should be tested through prototypes, not rushed into production. The lesson of the Zumwalt is clear. Bold ideas need careful execution, or they risk becoming expensive ghosts. The future fleet depends on learning from these mistakes.